We now finally have a date for Tesla's next event, thanks to Elon's Twitter account, the deliverer of all SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, Boring Company news, which will be Friday, August 19th, AI Day 2. And as soon as he tweeted this out, I realized, oh crap, maybe AI Day is supposed to be kind of an annual thing, and maybe it wasn't just a one-off thing like I thought it would be. You know, we had Autonomy Day a few years ago, where they told us all about their game plan for achieving robo-taxis and level 5 achievements autonomy. And then a few years go by, of course that doesn't happen, they have AI Day, and they talk about how they're going to achieve robo-taxis and level 5 autonomy, all within the somewhat near future, and then another year goes by, and at AI Day 2, I expect them to, uh, showcase some kind of roadmap for how they expect to achieve robo-taxis, level 5 autonomy, within the next year or two. And as Elon himself has said, give a bit more of a sneak preview towards the Tesla bot, and I'm hoping it could be a little bit better than someone wearing some spandex doing a dance on stage. As much as that confused us and still was quite hilarious at the time, I do think it would actually be genuinely cool to see Tesla's approach on something like the Boston Dynamics Atlas robot, where you have something on two legs with two arms that's actually able to walk around, and because it's AI day, maybe they'll be able to showcase how a lot of how it walks and moves around was discovered by itself. Like, it's self-taught, it figured out the tasks it needed to accomplish, and realized how to move the motors, and distribute its own weight the way it needed to in order to achieve some very basic tasks. That's at least what I expect to be ready by now. I don't think like a functioning humanoid robot that can do everything a human can do is just ready in 2022, considering they thought they may have a prototype near the end of next year, and now they're talking about showcasing it in August of this year. It seems a little early, but the important thing to remember from last year that's of course carrying on to this year is the primary focus of AI Day is to recruit software engineers to work at Tesla. It's not so much to announce new products and services. This is not the type of event that is meant to be watched by the everyday person, even though, yeah, they do live stream it on their YouTube channel. If it's anything like last year's AI Day, they get really into the nitty-gritty details on software and algorithms, and of course Dojo, their neural net training computer that they were very, very happy to boast about last year and still haven't really had any word on whether or not they're using it now or self-driving is actually taking advantage of the current hardware, but I think it's perfectly fine if they want to have a recruitment event every year and kind of give everyone updates on how self-driving is improving and how the FSD beta has resulted in, like, progressively less interventions over time and, you know, development with the Tesla bot, that kind of thing. It's fine. I just have one request at the end of the day. There's only one thing that I wish Tesla could adjust moving forward with these events, which is just to get a little bit more quiet on their expected timelines, because Elon has proven time and time again that he does not know when full self-driving will be ready because if he did we would have achieved robo taxis many many years ago because ever since 2016 elon has been saying end of next year end of next year end of next year we can achieve robo taxis and it'll be safer than a human and time after time after time that keeps getting missed that deadline keeps getting pushed back and it results in all these people doubting him or hating on tesla or hating on elon and i don't really think they need the negative press they don't need the hatred and while it's true that i personally think, thanks to their fleet data and all of the training that they're doing to their computers, thanks to all of the vehicles they have driving around autonomously on streets, Tesla is closer to solving robo-taxis and getting to level 5 autonomy than anybody else. I don't see any other company out there that's getting anywhere closer in regards to a vehicle that can do just zero intervention drives in places that have never been mapped before. All the companies that are doing HD mapping or super duper geofenced areas for self-driving, that just gives you the illusion of being closer. It's not actually being closer. And I still think it's an honorable field to go after. You know, so many people die every single year just from reckless driving and distracted drivers, drunk drivers, and that kind of thing, and trying to make vehicles safer overall. And of course, it goes with Tesla's mission statement of accelerating our transition to sustainable energy. If you can develop vehicles capable of driving people around with no driver, that vehicle can replace five gas cars on the road instead of just one. And of course, can drastically lower the cost of transportation so that someone living in a dense urban environment could actually save money by just taking robo taxis everywhere compared to even owning a cheap car or compared to taking Ubers or Lyfts everywhere. So trying to make transportation more affordable for everyday people and trying to make roads safer and trying to require less cars on the road overall, all great things for Tesla as a business and for the world. So I'm not trying to say that Tesla should not be pursuing this or Tesla should not be developing their own custom silicon, developing, you know, Tesla Doge 
Jojo or developing robots or any of that stuff is perfectly fine if they want to go after it. But try to just be a tad more realistic on the timelines because when you start trying to upsell people and say, yeah, you better get a $12,000 software package now or you better buy this car because it has FSD equipped and that's going to make you money in the long run in the future, that's when it starts to feel more scammy because the truth is no one knows when FSD will be done. No one knows when it'll become safer than a human. All we can do is speculate and guess and if history is anything to go off of, it's clear that Elon and a lot of the Tesla team are not great at guessing when these types of things will be accomplished. They compile code and they compile software in a particular way and they get it as good as they possibly can and then they find a local maximum and then realize, okay, we need to start over. We got to start from scratch again, find some other core rewrite and that's how they discovered Tesla Vision and thought, okay, we can do a lot better if we just drop radar entirely. And once we move to like a single stack architecture, self-driving will perform way better. So they try to figure that out, gets better and better, and then they find another local maximum and they have to start over and rewrite again. So my point is Tesla's AI team and the self-driving department, and especially Elon, they never really know if they're going to hit another local maximum. They're not aware of that because this is uncharted territory and they're trying to achieve things that have never been achieved before. So I think the best thing moving forward with AI and autopilot and self-driving and all that is just to say we're working as hard as we can and we're going to try to get existing hardware as good as possible while also continuing to improve hardware for the future and if it happens great but we don't know when it's going to happen stop trying to put a timeline or a deadline on it because that's clearly not working it's been late year after year and it's definitely giving a lot of fud for the tesla q people to work with every time they get to say look at all the times elon said that self-driving would be here and it's still not here don't feed the fud basically don't provide little timelines about how oh yeah this will be totally done by december or absolutely ready by next year it could take five years it could take 10 years who knows it could take 40 or 50 years before this is actually safer than a human or level five autonomous but still it's a worthy cause so hire as many engineers as you can hopefully we get some fun new updates at this event like maybe dojo is coming online shortly the funny thing is they said dojo would come online at the last ai event and elon doubled down on the earnings call that they don't need dojo to achieve level five self-driving you know they're gonna make fsd safer than a human without dojo and yet maybe dojo will get activated and yet it still won't be safer than a human so once again we just gotta slow down on the predictions and just focus on what's achievable now and i think what might be a better star to shoot for is just let's focus on level three for a minute can we get fsd beta you know which they want to go to wide rollout by the end of this year let's make that safe enough to the point where okay maybe there's still a person in the driver's seat required but maybe they don't have to pay attention as much like on highways can it get safe enough to the point where you can go on your phone or look at the tesla display watch a movie or something we don't need to and we probably won't go directly to level four or level five with the rate of improvement we're seeing fsd beta go at which is always like two steps forward one step back and then with certain updates it's one step forward two steps back and if we actually got some improvements in terms of liability like tesla assuming responsibility for the vehicle in certain jurisdictions that would still be a tremendous step forward but we don't even have that yet so let me know what you guys are looking forward to at ai day two do you think we're gonna have ai days every single year moving forward let me know what you're thinking down below thank you to everyone on patreon supporting this channel seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again have a great day